The most important thing that needed to be done was to stabilize the banks. If they did not manage to stabilize the banks, nothing else would work. Troika's idea on that was to do a very intensive stress test. The key measure was to bring in an external neutral party to come do an asset quality review and a diagnostic of what was happening in the banks. Because what the Irish had done before did not have sufficient credibility. If you don't do it properly, you prolong the uncertainty and you never stop the bank run. It made an enormous amount of difference that the IMF was supervising it because they were viewed as being independent. They had a depth of knowledge that was not available to us elsewhere. So I think that was by far the strongest thing they brought to the party. Once we managed to establish that the hole in the banking system wasn't some crazy number, that helped stabilize the situation. And you know, I come from India, and in India we have this concept of arranged marriages versus love marriages. And this was an arranged marriage. The IMF, the European Commission, and the European Central Bank, these three institutions were not used to working together. I wouldn't say that we all fell in love with each other, but we learned how to coexist. It was very clear that there were different opinions within the Troika. So that's what the Troika was. The bailout was clearly controversial in, in many ways. One of the big things was around how the creditors in the banking system were dealt with. I think the biggest political controversy was on the issue of senior bondholders. And there were clear differences of views uh, between the Irish authorities and the Troika and within the Troika on that issue. Why should the Irish taxpayer on their own uh, bear this excessive burden of supporting European stability? but it led to constant butting of heads and there was a certain visible tension. We were very much in favor of these senior creditors bearing losses, but in the end, the ECB did not allow them to do that. So that was probably the single most controversial aspect of the entire bailout uh, period.